So I'm starting to film my YouTube channel finally because I am on a journey. I just moved out of New York. So as you can see, my house is empty. I'm still getting up my baby Sage. Say hi Sage. Look at the camera. Say hi. So we just moved, and my man that's in the room. We just moved. Sage, like, can you stop? Like, she's teething. She's only three months. But yeah, so I'm gonna start this video off by doing a unfurnished house tour. We have a little bit, not really furniture, but. My man built us the TV stand for the living room, as well as like little designs I put in the bathroom, but like little touches, shower curtain, and whatnot. Can you stop? Can you stop? Stop. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to be giving an unfinished house tour and Sage, good girl. So, yeah. Let's just get her right on to it I just keep chatting. So, this area that I'm in is the living room slash kitchen entertainment area. So, this is the staircase to come upstairs when you walk in through the door to the house. You walk up the stairs and then so this room is the guest room and for now we just have like we literally just moved so this room looks a mess just unpacking and so once this room is more situated i will be re-recording but this room is really big. It's a really good size room. And it has a nice big walk-in closet here. So we love that. We love the walk-in closet. And then this is the main bedroom, the master bedroom, AKA my room. And I'll give you a brief Tour. Let me make sure. I'm not gonna get you on camera. So, air bed, cause y'all know how it be when you first move. Waiting for our furniture. Here, we have a balcony in the room. So gorgeous. That overlooks all these beautiful trees. And then I have, we have a walk-in closet here. And then this is the bathroom. You come to see it. Bathroom. And I just turn the light on. Honestly, I'm in love with my bathroom. I'm in love with my whole house, but it's giving a luxury Airbnb, it's giving a luxury hotel. Love it. 
this is the bathroom and so then this closet right here the laundry room if you want or like a laundry nook this is this space it look a mess in here right now because this is what we've been putting like the boxes from like stuff we've been building and stuff but this is where the laundry room is going to be this is the living room so this is basically the view from walking down the hallway into the living room and as you can see there's a lot of window space i love that so on the side of the living room is the kitchen they kind of share the same area and space and i love the kitchen i love all the appliances i love that everything is stainless steel and modern so gorgeous so my favorite part of the house is that we have a rooftop see what are you i don't know what it is with her but she just decided she don't want to use her weebie pads anymore so she just be Honestly, while and out. So, I'll just put this here while I clean that up. So, me and Babe been really trying to get Sage to use the Weeby pad here. I don't know if it's just because this is like a new environment for her, but she has not used the Weeby pad not one time here. So, you know, we're still working on that. And she's still a puppy. She's only three months, so. So when you're in the living room, over here, these steps up here goes to the rooftop. Are you gonna come? Are you gonna come? She's so cute. She just learned how to run up the stairs. We had to keep picking her up because she was scared. So this door. Leads you to the rooftop. And y'all this. When I seen this. And me and my fiance seen this part of the house. We knew it had to be ours. Like, this view and like I said, I'm from New York. So for me to leave New York and New York is literally in my peripheral, like. It feels so good to be able to see New York City from my rooftop. It's a saying that if you make it there, you can make it anywhere. And I definitely believe that. I cannot wait to decorate. I cannot wait to just decorate the whole house, especially the rooftop. I can't wait to just, you know, add our touches to the place and make it more homey for us. But this is our dream home. This is a dream come true. I still, like, it's still settling in for me, but it's just like, I know it's mine. I know I just Honestly, it's only up from here. I'm still young. I'm only 25 years old. So, you know, this is like, it's so unbelievable. And just go after, go after everything that you want in this life. This is your life. This is your journey. This is your path. This is your book. And you are the author. And that's on per. Right, Sage? That's on per. I'm in this segment in my life. This chapter of my life is about me getting fit. About me 
being more healthy. It's about me having better self-care. And so I'm trying to make a routine. Like I said, this is my first week in my new house. So I'm trying to make a routine of every morning working out and I have no excuse. I have a whole rooftop and I also have a balcony. I just, I have so much space and that's always been my issue with working out and stuff was the space and not having time to like, you know, go to the gym and things, but I have no excuses. And so y'all get to see me transform as well because I just want to be the best version of myself. I don't want to lag in no areas. It's always work to be done. I think it's safe to say that the rooftop is really Sage's favorite part about the house because she never wants to leave. So she hasn't, she didn't build the carriage up to walk down the stairs yet. Let's make me some breakfast. When I'm going to start sausage, some vegan cheese, I am vegan. And I'm not following no trends. I've been vegan for years. It's like this. It's like popular now for people to be vegan or plant-based. And I love that for society. But I just hate when I tell people I'm vegan and they think I'm following some type of wave. Like, nah. I am not the wave. I am a tsunami. So as you can see here, I'm just slicing my mini bagel. And I'm also gonna spray the griddle down and start letting my food cook. So don't ask me why I bought this griddle when I could have just bought pots and pans, but it was so, it's the summertime. It's the summertime and it was so hot in the house. I didn't want to like cook and make extra heat in the house. So I bought a griddle so that we could cook and like, you know, make food on the rooftop. And I haven't even done that yet. I just be cooking right here. But, you know, I'm gonna get like my whole pots and pans set. I'm just waiting cause I don't want to get any random, oops. I don't want to get any random pots and pans set. I want to get everything to like match my aesthetic and I don't know what color set I want yet. Slice me up some tomatoes because I love tomatoes. And fun fact, but you get more nutrients out of tomatoes when you cook them rather than eat them cold or raw. When you cook tomatoes, you actually make it more nutritious. This honestly one of my favorite things to see for breakfast. And then I'm gonna have half of a banana. And some yogurt. This is the tea that I'm having. Everyday detox, organic. 
And y'all, I know I said I'm vegan and because I am. But someone bought me. Someone really close to me bought me this or got me this. And this is so cute. Like the aesthetic is so cute. And I usually have agave or like cane sugar, but I was like, I can't just let this go to waste and like not use this. Honey is not vegan, it's from bees. But I guess this is my only exception because it was a gift. videos being a dog mom you know like can I live can I live say stop she trying to rip the quote off of my teeth before I even read it in all things of nature there is something of the marvelous that's that so yeah, I'm about to eat my breakfast and lay up with my fiance. So it's <laughs> later on today since I filmed the house tour. And I just feel like being outside because it's kind of cold inside from the central air. But I like it like that, but right now I just want to be warm. So me and Sage are on the rooftop and I'm just trying to spread out this little blanket because we don't have no furniture up here yet. So this will do. Sometimes I just let her bite me just to get it out, get it out of her system. Cause she, she don't give up. And she actually stuck, like her teeth are grown and get as sharp as hell. Look at them things. Show them your teeth since you wanna be biting. Like look at these chompers, but so yeah, earlier after I left the rooftop, I had some lunch, and then me and Bay and Sage, we all took a nap, 
like a good two hour nap before Bay left out for work. And now I'm just chilling. I'm watching some YouTube videos and just watching, like catching up on my shows. And I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna do a night workout tonight. So I'm gonna try to film some of that. View is so gorgeous right now. So we headed up to the rooftop to get this workout in. start this workout. Like, comment, and subscribe. It's a lot more in store.